Hi there everybody and welcome to Get Strumming. Now I'd just like to thank everybody that liked the Only Fools and Horses theme tune video that I did just recently and especially to a couple of subscribers, Les Hammer and Sharon West, who both asked if I could do a tutorial for the opening and closing themes to Only Fools and Horses. Right, to begin with, here's a bit of backstory regarding the theme tune. It wasn't the original choice um, of theme tune for the show. The first series of Only Fools and Horses had uh, more of an instrumental theme that was uh, written and composed by uh, Ronnie Hazelhurst, who was a big BBC theme tune writer throughout the 70s and 80s. Um, and basically, this is what they came up with. So nothing like the uh, theme tune that we know and love today. In fact, John Sullivan, the show's writer, disliked it that much that he went away and recorded his own version with the lyrics and um, apparently he had to get drunk to go into the studio uh, to settle his nerves because he wasn't a big fan of uh, singing in front of a microphone. John Sullivan was a master comedy writer but he was also a great lyricist um, and basically this theme tune that he came up with serves a number of purposes. First of all it was a big hit with everybody. I mean everybody in Britain must know the Only Fools and Horses theme and also it went some way to explain the title of the series because everybody was kind of going Only Fools and Horses what? what? What does that mean? And then within the context of the song Only Fools and Horses work it was an old phrase um, so basically John Sullivan went in the studio, recorded it, and then everybody thought it was Nicholas Hindler, Lindhurst, who played Rodney. And, uh, but it wasn't, it was John Sullivan that um, recorded it, and this is what it sounds like. <laughs> Instantly recognisable. In fact, a lot of people say it should become uh, this country's national anthem. So, perhaps we ought to have a vote on that. Anyway, so here we go. Let's have a look at the opening theme tune. So the opening theme tune is actually in the key of A flat. But for the purpose of doing this tutorial, I'm going to play in A major. If you want to play along with the original recording, the best thing to do is just downtune the ukulele by a semitone and then you'll get to the uh, A flat. So we're going to start off with an A major and the strumming is kind of like down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. So that's the kind of feel you're after. So we start off with A. Stick a pony in the pocket I'll fetch the suitcase from putting in an A7 there so what I'm doing is using my third finger on the third fret second string uh, or you can just use it as a one finger chord with your first finger on the first fret third string and then we go to a D7 because where it all comes from is a mystery it's like the and then back to A changing of the seasons and the tides of the sea that's A7 there and then back to D7. Cause here's the one that's driving me berserk. And then back to A. Why do all the fools and horses work? A7. La 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 D7. La 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 A. La 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 A7. La la D7. the opening theme tune. Now the closing uh, theme tune called Hooky Street um, starts off with a, a bit of a snare drum roll. So it's Hooky Street. 
we got some half price crack tires, miles and miles of carpet tiles, TVs, deep freeze, David Bowie LPs, pool games, gold chains, what's her names, and had a push, some Trevor Francis track suits from a mush in Shepherd's Bush, and then we go to an E7, so this is where you start strumming. Push, 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 push. So just simple down strums there. Now we're going to go to an A6 chord. You can play an A major, but I think it works better with an A6. Simply because on the piano you get this. So it's like an A6 chord. Now how to play the A6, you just play a normal A chord with your third finger on the second fret, second string. Now some of you might be saying, hang on a minute Dom, that's a F sharp minor. Well it is, but in this context it's an A6 chord, because a lot of chords on the ukulele can be one or the other, so they're interchangeable. So in this purpose, this is an A6. No income tax, no VAT, no money back, no guarantee. Black or white, rich or broke, not rich or poor, which a lot of people sing, it's rich or broke. And the next line is, and we'll cut prices at a stroke. You're on E7 there. We'll cut prices at a stroke. Then we go to a B7. Your first finger on the second fret, second string, second finger on the third fret, third string, third finger on the fourth fret, fourth string. So this is the God Bless Hooky Street. God Bless Hooky Street. Viva Hooky Street. Long live Hooky Street. Say, and then back to A. So really for the closing theme tune, all you're looking at is this A6, E7, and B7, and back to A. So dead simple to play, and they're really cool songs, obviously, uh, for the ukulele, because they're so simple. So have fun with that, and also don't forget to check out the bonus tutorial, as I will be talking more about that drum roll that you get. And I'll show you how to play that on the ukulele. Thanks again for joining me. It's been a pleasure as always and don't forget keep strumming. Take care for now. <laughs>